This is Essie Featured. This is the power of sports. So a crossover, you're not coming down court thinking about a crossover. You just kind of react and it's not like it's something you think about going yes, out. Yes, it is. Is it? Yes, it is. It's, um, I don't like this guy. I want to cross the hell out of him. Leave family at home because you're going to get it. Professor! The crossover dribble. It's simple, but vicious. It can make your knees buckle, ankles break. Any thought you had of stopping it, gone. Consider this your education on the art of the crossover. See the prize and it's mine, ain't no option. I am a fire, you just tired, heat exhaustion. Yeah, boy, you fire, get surprised, I'm the boss now. A crossover is bruising ankles and egos. The person being scared of your first step. Iverson breaks the ankles. That's what make it so efficient. Murray, what a move. That's what make it so vicious. Iguodala goes to the double crossover. That's what make it so deadly. Crawford, the ball handling. It's something that's special. You're losing your defender. You're making him think you're going one way and you're going the opposite way. Oh, which way did he go? You're going to embarrass him with something wicked. Oh, man. Oh. See you later. Ain't no way you can keep up. Well, I think everyone has their own thing when it comes to the crossover. You know, it's all about being shifty, the head fakes, and, you know, raising the eyebrows. Kyrie Irving! Oh, he lost him! Kyrie Irving is definitely one of the most versatile ball handlers we've ever seen. Let's get it going, Scott Show. Tell your king you came to overthrow. Next thing you know, I met Stro. Didn't even see me coming, did you, though? has a lot to do with timing, footwork, being deceptive, ultimately just being quick. Superb move from Jamal Crawford. Ain't no way you can keep up. Players in the NBA today who have nice crossovers. Chris Paul. Nice move by Chris Paul. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, crossover in the lane. Steph Curry has a great crossover. Curry behind the back, an ankle breaker on Chris Paul. Curry just floored him with that move. Steph did the behind the back crossover and he made the shot, so those guys had some good battles. Oh, oh, yes! What a move by Chris Paul! The crossover continues to evolve with guys like Dane, Kimba, the Beers. In and out, hard to the rack to the pullback. If you reach, you might become a meme. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson, and then he hit the three. Wow. What's going through your mind at that point? I don't know. I was trying to figure out what he was doing. <laughs> I don't know. Kimba Walker, definitely one of the most deceptive handles in the game. He hit you with a couple combos, leave his defender on the ground. You know, New York is the home of street ball. You know, growing up watching and one, a lot of us would go to the park sometimes by ourselves and practice moves like that. It's just us, New Yorkers. One of the most famous crossovers of all time is still being imitated today. The Sham God. Oh, man, God, Sham God. You know, another New Yorker, you know, went to Providence. He definitely created one of the most deadliest moves out there. I feel humble. I feel flattered because, you know, I admire these players. When I meet them and they're like, man, I used to watch you in high school, man. I used to love watching you play. As far as the Sham God, Chris Paul used to use it a lot. I would say Kyrie. Russell used it the most. I think the one that stands out for me is the one against Meritage. You know, it's his rookie year, so you know, I think it was kind of a, a welcome to the league kind of thing for him. He had no idea what was going on, but he fell back and I made the shot. Yeah, I thought that was pretty dope. In the aftermath, watching the highlights and things like that, then you get the appreciation for it. You know, you look at it and you say, damn, look what I did. Let's get it in, let's finish this. When it came time, just send me in. Who needs medicine? Y'all big dogs will be elephants. You don't want trouble, don't let us see. Iverson draws Jordan now. It was like he was walking on air. It was like the young buck taking on uh, the best player in the world and being fearless about it. And it just so happened that my hero Ain't no way you can keep up. was guarding me. 
and I was just playing basketball. Watch this. Big, nice play. He goes to his left, his right, his left, his right, and then he comes up with a jumper. We're going to have some people to debate that in the barbershop. It's going to be somebody else to say, nah, this dude right here had the best crossover. But we all know. Thanks for the inspiration.